Technology is a beautiful thing. Let's consider some of the differences between those of us who are digital immigrants, such as myself, and maybe my grandson Gabriel, whose picture you just looked at on the web page. He may have a different experience with technology than I do. This is it might well be labeled moving beyond the smoke screen. Look at the two of us here, and let's talk about Gabriel just a minute. This little fella is sitting at a, a computer at his home. He's crawled in there, played with stuff, and I mean he's just had a blast until he's passed out with exhaustion. Over here is an old man. When I was the size Gabriel is, I, I, never, I didn't even have a clue what a computer was. Never heard of one. I was fully grown before I ever saw one. And then what I saw certainly wasn't what we experienced today. Do you think that we might be different types of learners because of the technology that we've been exposed to? Look at this old fella here. I remember the days of textbooks and slide rules, and I'm kind of an analytic learner. I, I like thinking about things, looking at stuff, uh, reading about stuff. You can talk to me and Believe it or not, in spite of what my wife says, I do hear some of the things that you say. Very analytical. See my little pointed ears, little Mr. Spock ears from Star Trek, the old generation. Over here we have a young man who will spend all of his life playing and dealing and interacting with technology. Uh, before he was born, computers came forward. Uh, he came into a household as a little bitty boy, and oh my lands, he, he doesn't even remember when there wasn't a computer in the home. He loves coming to Pawpaw's house. Here's old Pawpaw, and he loves getting on Pawpaw's computer. And he loves Pawpaw's computer because he can play uh, games on it. He can watch YouTube music videos. He comes in my house and says, Pawpaw? Let's play the, let's listen to the dinosaur song. And we do that. He is a different, probably going to be a very different type learner than I am. Where I'm very analytic because of uh, how I was reared. Uh, my grandson Gabriel here is very likely to be visual. He, he is going to digest vast amounts of information visually and process the, that information where uh, I, I came out of a different era and a different age. So here's an old digital immigrant. I moved into the land of digital learning. I throw up a smoke screen about why you can't do things digitally and you need to do them the way that I'm familiar with. Here's a young man born into the age of digital learning. He's going to be very visual. He's For him, to be where there is no technology is going to be just as frightening as it was to me to come into a place where there was technology. He doesn't know any different. He's met it all of his life. And he will be very fluent in it at his age, at when he reaches my age than I am today. I don't know how many of you experience having to ask your children for help with things. You have to turn to the younger people for support. Now, let's consider some of the implications of this. Yeah, you know, I argue that you might not need to do things digitally. I'll, I might argue that, well, in the day's day and age, you need to do it this way or that way. Little Gabriel is not being educated for my world. He is being educated for his world. He needs to be prepared for a world which is yet to come, which is going to roar way beyond my feeble abilities to imagine. He is a digital, digital native, where I'm a digital immigrant. Now, as we move on past this to end this exciting lecture, I want you to notice the two old dogs here. Here's an old dog. Here's another old dog. Both of these old dogs are digital immigrants. You can contact me by email at this address. And, you know, being a digital immigrant, I think using email is really cool. Some of you laugh about that.